Hey guys, so um, I, I don't want to give too much away with this video, but it kind of links in with the video we done the other day about cybernetics, so if you haven't watched that, go watch it. Um, but I, uh, look, you'll see. You'll, you'll, you'll understand. Just <laughs> we, we, like, you just need to experience this one. It's particularly, it's <laughs> yeah, out it there, to say the least. Let's get into the video. Underrated and based film. I actually blame this movie for my current sci-fi obsession. Before watching it, I was a pretty average normie who liked playing soccer and talking to girls and shit. After seeing this, I got incredibly depressed that I didn't have a cool mechanical arm like Silver, and I became obsessed with it. By the way, the movie he's talking about is Treasure Planet. You know, like the sci-fi version? Yeah. It was really good. I really enjoyed it too. So it was okay. alright. No, but it was a good movie, Megan. It was alright. I had crayon-drawn blueprints and word docs of part lists and all this shit that I thought I would need to get myself a mechanical arm with gadgets and junk. I got to the point where my therapist told my mum that I wouldn't be allowed near sharp objects because of some dreams I told them about where I cut off my own arm and attached my homemade Long John Silver arm. She freaked the fuck out and hid all the knives we had and my dad had to cut my food for me for the longest time. He finally stopped doing this when I left for college. It's been a good month of freedom so far, but they still call me every fucking day asking if I'm okay on my own. For fuck's sake, they told my brother who's here at school to keep an eye on me, and he keeps coming by with boxes of pre-cut food. I still eat it because, hey, free food, but it's so fucking infuriating. Also, I really like Mr. Arrow. He didn't take shit from anyone. Honestly, it was a good movie. I don't care. I, I, I couldn't care less, Megan. Mm. Yeah, it was all right. I'm not it, saying it's a bad movie. It but was a great I, movie. It was all right. Is this some ancient copy pasta nobody told me about? Jesus Christ. Please be real. Not copy pasta. Just started school this August. I wasn't allowed to bring Treasure Planet with me. My mum keeps the DVD locked in her room. Good thing she doesn't know the first thing about streaming slash torrenting. Do your friends know about your love? No, no one knows specifically. They got over the fact that I taped stuff to my arm. Like, I don't know, <laughs> pens and lighters and shit. College is weird people, and at least I'm the guy who's always prepared for anything. Please, take a picture of your bloody arm. I want to have a visual proof of all this autism. I don't cut myself. I don't have knives, and I think I'm under control anyway. Every morning, though, I create a new arm based on my needs for the day. Oh my god, please tell me this. Do you want? Do you guys want to see the picture? No, of his arm? That, no. Hold on. Let's let's keep going. Post a pic and prove it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Here, here's what I'm talking about. It's hard to see, but I have a lighter on my upper palm, a spoon on my middle finger, chapstick on the ring finger, and he and there's a tabas go under the chopsticks, which comes in handy for my bite-sized food. I use my pinky when I need to rub my eyes since everything else is being used. <sighs> it's the fuck, it's the massive size of fucking lotion for me. <laughs> I absolutely love this. Honestly, it does look kind of handy, but his autism is unprecedented. Uh, I don't know what to say. I would love, like, personally... Imagine, imagine you, like, being in uni. And uh, you go up and, and you this rock is... up to your lecture hall. <laughs> 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 oh, don't have a pen on me. Oh, don't, don't worry, worry. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I got this. Here, look at my cool, cool bollock arm. Fuck you, man. You guys wanted a pick, and it's been a long night. How do you jack off without completely annihilating your <laughs> Honestly, that's a solid question. I've been jacking off lefty since I was 14 out of necessity. And also super, it's convenient because I keep eating or writing or whatever. Also, here's a pic from a different angle. The lighter's placed in the most efficient location. I mean, like... I'm shocked. I mean, like... I am shocked. I mean, like, I'm sure it works. You know, I'm, I'm forever looking for a lighter. Uh, like, you know, I for, I'm forever misplacing them. So, like, uh, maybe if I just duct tape one to my arm... <laughs> Megan, what would you say? Oh, Megan. No. Oh, Megan. No, <laughs> James. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Anon, this could be much more efficient if you learned a bit of sewing and made a sort of long sleeve and glove type thing with holders and pockets. 
Just throwing ideas ideas out there for your insanity. Honestly, yeah, that that would actually be a much better idea. Like maybe like a leather one would be good. Yeah. You you should really look into prosthetics as a major. Make that dream happen, then show us. <laughs> yes. Can I be in the screen cup? What's in the bottle above your watch? Oh my god, it looks like Tabasco. It is Tabasco, isn't it? It's also how anyone can like Tabasco. It's so shitty, it's not spicy, and it has too much vinegar. I don't mind Tabasco. Eh, it's not that great. Honestly, just look at his, look at his spin finger. Oh my god, he's an engineer. That's why I'm an engineering student. Literally no other reason. <laughs> I mean, like, I did electronic engineering, and I will... Here you go, mate. Wait, he's showing him how he's eating with his spoon with his middle finger. Yeah. Imagine if you rock up to the canteen. And you see this boy sitting in the corner with a fucking chocolate pudding going <laughs> with his middle finger. <laughs> oh, sweet. I, I, it's not even a good angle to like, get it in your mouth. No, your it's not. It's a, it's a horrible angle. If it was his thumb, it would be better. Yeah, it would be a lot better if it was his thumb. Me deliberating which fucking <laughs> finger to put your spin on. <laughs> I mean, like... <sighs> Wait, you walk around campus with that? And security is a <laughs> <laughs> Like, honestly, like, the boy clearly has something wrong with him. You know, I don't think he's a menace to society, you know? He's got Q-tips as well. <laughs> does he actually? Oh, yes. fuck off, he does have Q-tips in the corner. <laughs> yeah, do this. It looks way cooler. And if technology progresses, you might end up placing thing inside your cyber arm anyway. I have no words. I have no words. How the fuck do you use a spoon? How does it not fall off? It looks pretty tight, but it looks like it's tight enough that he can't bend his finger, though, at the yeah. same time. It looks like a lot of his digits he can't actually move because of the because of the, cause of the tape. On it. It's too tight. You wouldn't happen to have a photo of you with other people, like in a grip shot or something. Kind of want to see you with other people. Feel free to blur their faces. It's a lighter LOL. A lot of students here smoke. I've considered doing something similar, but one... Oh my god, can you imagine <clears throat> sitting, going out to the smoking area and then this fellow locks up to you and just <laughs> you makes want a lighter? you beg for it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. I love this. I've considered doing something similar, but one, I have no talent, and two, it's just not the same, you know. I can take it off whenever, and it's so temporary. The tape stuff comes off too but it takes so much more effort to put on and take off and that it's more realistic commitment. So I feel more like silver. <laughs> Plus, my grandma tried making something like that whenever I was 16 and it was shitty. Uh, I'm happy as granny tried to help him. I mean, like, you know, that's awfully kind of her. <laughs> I'll see what I can find. Family photos don't have it because my parents insist on hiding it out of place. Like, an on arm behind your sister. <laughs> <laughs> And friends usually take pictures of my face when we're together. They don't post ones with a hand on Facebook. <laughs> I mean, like, let's be serious. Would you not be posting pictures? Come on. I'd be posting pictures. I think it's fucking hilarious, to be honest with you. Yeah. See if I knew a fella that locked about with us all the time. I I, I, I would be amazed. Mm-hmm. I would I'd genu- make them pose I, with the lighter and all going. Oh, yeah. I, I, I would be getting them. Oh, mate, what, what, what attachments do you have today? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, what, are you, what are you locking up with today? <laughs> That shit is too randomly put onto your hand to be genuine. I mean, a popsicle stick that's just hanging there attached to nothing else and serves no purpose. It's not a popsicle stick, it's a nail file, I think. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's one of the wee tiny cheap nail files. You yeah, get. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why do you need that? <laughs> is that like his, his uh, well, look, breaking well, conversation <laughs> to girls? Hey, you need do you need a nail file? file? <laughs> well, look, like, you know, look, he's really, he really likes his not quite robotic arm so obviously he must take good care of his fingers mm, do you like yeah. it? I, th- I, I reckon he's probably got relatively good maybe he doesn't I don't know actually why, why am I even I don't know let's just keep going if you really had a fascination with sci-fi as you claimed your hand would be more artistically put together <laughs> I'm better and old <laughs> I like Tabasco I'm a huge vinegar guy so it makes everything taste great it's a nail file. I hate cutting my nails, so I just constantly file them. Oh. <clears throat> How much of your arm do you use? Is it like just the forearm, or do you put stuff past the elbow too? Oh my god, he's got an he actual does. armband. Oh, he actually does. It's clearly fake, but still hilarious. Like this? I genuinely think this is rather cool. Also, how many times have you had your lunch money stolen? <laughs> I, like, I don't know if I would be... Like, the guy would spin you. 
He'd actually turn oh, yeah. around and fucking like you know, like I'm sa- telling you right now, any of you boys been stabbed with a spin? You know what I mean? So how many times have you had your lunch money stolen? Honestly, a guy with half a cutlery store on one hand isn't going to have his money stolen. <laughs> yeah, no, that's yeah. right. Be honest with you. How much of your arm do you use? Is it like the forearm or do you put stuff past the elbow too? Yeah, this too. Pick related. Not too much stuff. One, it's not as convenient. And two, Silver never had shit in his elbow. To be honest, I still have too many limitations. My arm can't too many jump. Limitations. Don't. <laughs> My, <laughs> my arm can't transform yet, so I can't simulate the really cool shit he has squirreled. Squirreled away? Oh, squirreled away. Yeah. I didn't read the full fucking sentence. Bones and burner, sword, gun, etc. Next you'll just have like a full katana, just like... Oh, yeah. Sellotaped his arm. To be, to be fair, I always thought it was cool as fuck with Robocop, where he had that big iron literally in his leg. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I thought it was pretty cool. Can we like, just look at this picture for a minute? So he's got a pair of yellow sunglasses. sunglasses. Oh, you, you a just, razor uh, that has been highly used. Yeah, it does look. Look at the hairs and all sticking out of it. Well, he, uh, is, he is an engineering student, so maybe the screwdrivers make sense. The screwdrivers make sense. Yeah. They're also a weapon. Eh. So, yeah, screwdrivers considered a weapon. So he's already always ready for like. An impromptu battle scene. <laughs> I don't know. The screwdriver. I, I, I wouldn't be fucking with this. Boy, no fuck. If I'd be honest with you. Is it just your arm? What about your foot? Silver had a robot foot. I actually tried that when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Am I not shocked? Sure? But I couldn't do anything other than just store shit. I could already put in my pockets. The arm, on the other hand, puns. Lol. Oh, on the other hand, fuck off. Provides a measurable increase in my inf- in my efficiency. <laughs> see, uh, see, see, honestly, why did Chris Chan never do shit like this? It'll be so wise well, because he doesn't have the engineering. Yeah. To do stuff like this. Well, this has been cathartic, but I gotta be up early tomorrow for class, and I have to plan what I need for my next version. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> oh my, my god. god. <laughs> hey guys, do you like models in your tabletop role playing games? Cause we do too. Do you like having big bitty waifus on your table? Because we do too. <laughs> <laughs> we got human biddies. We got lizard biddies. We got orc biddies, oni biddies, cat bussies. We've got everything you want at neckbeardia.co.uk. <laughs> Check the links down below. It helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video. Let's get on the story. Um, I, don't really... I don't know what I'd do if I seen this boy rocking about. I really don't. I'd follow him. <clears throat> I, I'd I would, definitely follow him. I, I would think it was something from her, like, project, or maybe, like, a drama student, if I didn't know any better, or, like... I, I don't know. I love... Like, okay, so let's, let's look at... Let's look at his arm. I would definitely have to talk to him. So, he's got a... Pe- okay, first digit, a pen and a pencil. But it looks pretty handy, yeah. Um, I don't get the chopsticks, because... Well, because... Well, maybe it makes sense to him. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't get the chopsticks. We got a spoon. What's the big got- black thing? That looks like his wallet. Oh, is it? I think that could be a wallet. Um, the lighter, I suppose, kind of. Is that a lockpick and tweezers? I think that is, yeah. Um, chapstick. Hairbrush. Like, he... Don't get me wrong, he has everything. But why doesn't he just carry a bag? He needs a utility belt. Can we just get him a utility, <laughs> utility belt instead? <laughs> like, you know, get... get yes. You know, everyone knows, that, knows them fellas that lock about with a utility belt. <laughs> yes. And I just think, I'm a handy man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um... I'd be honest with you. I would just, I would just buy a bag. Yeah, personally, buy a bag, if that was me, get a backpack. And um, have you got? I, I normally I would ask you, like, have you, would you guys ever, like, you know, have you guys ever, like, you know, normally when we do a, but I hope none of you have. <laughs> yeah, I kind of do. But look, I'll be honest with you. Treasure Planet was a great movie, and I'm really in the mood to watch it tonight, Megan. Oh no. Why not? Well, on the idea of this, what is something you seen as a mo- in a movie as a kid uh, that like you your- thought? No, oh, that you were so obsessed about cool. that you wanted to do it. That's so fucking cool. I need that right now. For me, I think it was Indiana Jones's web. Yeah. I loved his web. I thought his web was cool as fuck. Yeah, I don't know what mine was. I thought, like, the web was so fucking cool. But I was terrified of it because, like, you know, do you remember in The Last Crusade where he, like, accidentally whips his face and I was like, oh, fuck, oh. <laughs> so it kind of, like, scared me off at the same yeah. time. So luckily I never actually, like, you know, yeah. went all out on it. Mm, I don't know what mine was. Mm. I was obsessed with Calamity Jane. I wanted to be a cowboy. Yeah. So you didn't kill any Native Americans, no? 
Calamity Jane did, but no. Aww. I wanted to be a cowboy, but a girl cowboy so that's ca- sung in bars. <laughs> Yeah, still, still potential there. You know, you never when, know when, when, like, when COVID comes Watch about. Maybe, maybe, maybe it could be a thing. <laughs> but like, um, I have no words to else Neither to put on I. this. Uh, be honest with you, like, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and let's just I'll see you guys later. I suppose. Yeah, check out the links. Check um, out the models. Check out the models. Hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.